We're at the Dollar Tree. Not the library. Not the library. It's just they barely opened and I don't know. Anyway, um, people walking by and I feel awkward. I was thinking about doing the Dollar Tree art challenge, which means you could only buy your products at the Dollar Tree. So, so far, this is what their section looks like. They got little mini canvases. And uh, they got this stretch canvas. But I'm going to go with, they got the largest one. It's a 8x10 panel. So I'm going to do with this one. And they have this paint, which looks like a regular tube paint, but they don't have all the primary colors I need. So, do watercolor or this one here, which has all of them in one for one dollar. And even it comes with a little brush. I'm probably gonna not gonna use that one because I'm gonna use these brushes because you don't want. These ones by Crayola, because I've seen so many videos by Crayola. Don't buy these brushes. Let's get these ones here. They look good, even though there's a hair sticking out. And I would get this palette, but they suck. Actually, pretty surprised of how many art supplies they have. They have palette knives, which I don't use palette knives for acrylic paint. So, um, what else is there? Yeah. Actually, that's it. They don't have that much. Maybe a finger painting video? Now, I need that pole there. Hey, watch yourself. <laughs> we need a water cup, so. Who's gonna come home with me? I actually like this one, but it's too heavy. All right, we got a water cup. Alright, so I'm a minimalist, and I don't like buying things I don't need or want clutter and waste money. So, I'm trying to think of multiple purpose ways I can use the product, and I w don't want to buy palette, and I don't want to buy wax paper. So, what I think I get an 8x10 frame photo frame and then I can after I use the palette from the, the, the glass or the plastic I could put my picture inside of it all right we just left the Dollar Tree and we walked out with a total of oh man, six dollars and fifty seven cents for all these items except one that we needed but sweet Hello there friends and family, it's Natalie coming at you live and today I want to do something a little different. I want to challenge the dollar store and see if their products are any good. This, this isn't a new thing, it's on YouTube already. I've seen a YouTuber do it, I'll put her video in the description. Uh, she's hilarious. But i seen the video and I was like, that looks so much fun, I want to do it. She painted like the Grinch and it was awesome. So. I learned from her mistakes and I got these brushes. She got the ones by Crayola, which I said earlier in the video were no bueno. So I got Jot, 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 Jot art brushes. I got a small, medium, and large brushes. And we got the same brand, paint. They didn't have the two paint uh, that I was hoping for, but for one buck for all my primary colors, I couldn't say no. Got a canvas. Um, this one's an 8x10. 8x10 frame to frame my picture. And then I'm going to use the palette, the plastic palette. Hopefully there's a plastic palette. Let's open this bad boy up. Let me go get my knife. Oh, it already broke. How convenient. Yeah. We don't care about. Boom! Is that glass? I don't know if that's glass or plastic. Hmm. It's pretty thick. And I'm gonna use this as my palette. And then after I'm done, I'm gonna 
clean it, put it back, and then frame my beautiful artwork and sell it for millions of dollars. And I spent 547 because I bought something else and messed up everything. But basically, I spent about six dollars. Let's just say that. Let's round it up to six bucks. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! It broke. The glass palette broke. Wow, that was... So, apparently, this was glass. I solved the mystery. It was glass. Okay, well, we're going to still work with it. And I bought this beautiful cup. My fiance picked it out. What I'm gonna attempt to paint is a picture I took when I went hiking um a year ago. It's a beautiful place. And see how well these paints can create depth. So further ado, let's get into the video. So let's open these up. So here's what this looks like here. Let's open these brushes up and see how they feel. Oh my gosh. Oh god, I already could tell. These are horrible. <laughs> oh, actually, they're pretty firm. What kind of material do they even use? Like plastic? I'm gonna perform surgery. Got super glue. Boom. Then we flip this bad boy. <gasps> Okay, my palette's completely stuck to my table. Ow! Ah! Glass is sharp, kids. Can't focus. My dad performed surgery on me, and he put a band-aid. I'll just leave the paint in here. Take it out as I need it. I'm not gonna ever use these colors ever again anyway. finished with this painting um halfway through about when I hit this mountain I ran out of white so I had to come out and get some white which I, it was probably a bad idea to use really expensive paint this white wasn't like white at all it was like literally a transparent white but it's okay dollar challenge doesn't phase me look I tell people it's not about your paintbrushes it's not about your material but what you got right now, and you can create art whatever you have. So you don't have to have a lot of money to create awesome art. I think this looks great. So let's rate these items. Um, do I think you should go out and buy this dollar paint? Yes. What I do suggest is that you can have cheap paint, but just have a really expensive white. And honestly, everything else... Uh, you don't need expensive and this palette I don't suggest I cut myself and that wasn't fun so but it worked great as a palette just not safe <laughs> I taped it and glued it I don't know if you can see Schwatter cup was great I like it I think I'm gonna move forward and using it um, these brushes these brushes oh man where do I begin? They weren't horrible, but not my favorite brushes in the whole entire world. But they they worked. I did this whole painting with them. Uh, they did the job. I should say that. They did the job. 
this canvas was great. I do, do recommend buying uh, canvases from the Dollar Tree. That was pretty good. Good job on the canvases. Good job on the paint, except for the white. The white sucked. Don't buy the white. And the black is like tacky. Oh, and the picture frame. I don't know about that picture frame. I don't think I'm going to put the actual uh, glass back in there. I think I'm just going to do it like this. Let's see if this works. The paint's not completely dry yet, but YOLO! There. Oh, and this side broke, so let's imagine. And there we go. So this is what the finished product looks like. it was quite fun like I said the white was really horrible but once I changed once I ran out of white and changed to more expensive white it was actually a pleasant experience um, just the brushes were the only thing kind of pissing me off so go to your local Michaels get the cheapest brushes they have they're probably way better than these and but honestly if you only got six bucks to get art supplies and create art it was completely worth it so, further ado, I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you guys next week. Peace!